Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can check an IP address for a known threat using the Cloudmersive Security Connector in Power Automate. This connector can protect you against bad IPs, botnets, compromised servers, and many other threats, so it's a great Power Automate button to have in your arsenal. To get started, navigate to Create from the Power Automate homepage and then select Instant Cloud Flow. From there, Name your flow and select manually followed by create to move on. On the flow design page, click new step to begin. Type Cloudmersive into the operations search bar and look for the connector with the black Cloudmersive logo from the options below. Once you've selected that option, you'll be able to find the check IP address for known threats iteration from the actions list. Once you've clicked on that action, You'll be prompted to enter in your API key and name your Cloudmersive connection. Mine is already saved from previous uses, and if you've used this connector before, your information will be saved as well. All you have to do here is copy the IP address where indicated, and you can move on to the next step. In the second and final step, I'm going to show you how to create a condition based on the results of the IP scan. In this condition, we'll get a different email sent to us depending on the outcome of the scan. Click New Step and look for the Condition option below the Operations search bar. Choose the value Is Threat from the dynamic search bar and set it equal to True. Then, in the If Yes scenario search bar, look for Send me an email notification. Click on that and then give your email a subject line that indicates a threat has been detected. Following that, create an email subject that contains dynamic content information regarding the type of threat detected within the IP. For the if no scenario, look for the email notification action again and this time create a subject that reflects a no threat scenario. Your subject in this case doesn't need to contain any dynamic content information because knowing there is no threat is sufficient. It's now time to save the flow and test it. Click Save at the bottom of the page, and then click on Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select Manually, and then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. When the test completes, green check marks will appear in the upper right corner of each operation in the flow. Any errors will conveniently appear on the right side of the page. To make sure it really worked the way it should have, I'm going to head to my email and check to make sure I received a response. As you can see, I have an email indicating that no threat was detected. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for further content.